Guten tag, chess amigos. Welcome back to the grind. Okay, we are playing as black against the queen's pawn. Historically, not my strongest, uh, strongest, uh, what do you call it, sort of a uh, win rate as black or whatever. I normally have a really hard time against this opening. Moscow Nick. Let's see how we do against Moscow Nick. Uh, I want to just run the queen back and be able to get the bishop out if needed. Kind of wouldn't mind like trading off in the center to tell you the truth. Maybe I just look for the really early castle or something. Just gonna look for the really early castle, um, honestly. I think it's fine. I mean, I develop a piece, so whatever. No need to overthink it. Hmm. Could attack his bishop. I don't see any reason not to. Seems fine. Okay. I could push push the bishop to b four. Sort of prevent his knight from developing, and then run back. But uh, the last game I had a really hard time when I got my bishop stuck sort of against the rim. So maybe I'll just develop a piece. Um... Sure. Could attack this. Can't attack this way. Let me just see if there's a good move here besides the knight move. Kind of feeling a6 b5. You just get the bishop out too. I I like a6 b5 because it'll at least let my bishop get out. Then the pawn's going to be in a really awkward spot. Let's just see if I have anything else really obvious here. No, I don't have the check anymore. I need to remember that. Mm. Yeah, I'll just go a6 b5. No, just kidding. I can't put the bishop out on a6. Whoops. Hmm. Probably attack the queen here. Either attack the queen or attack the bishop. I wonder what's more important right now. Probably attacking the queen, but... I don't know. I just want to force his bishop around. I mean, I can attack his queen next. Then what do I do after that? I mean, I can always hop back to a d5. I'll just do a sanity check. Here, make sure I'm not in trouble. 
I need to get this e pawn out of the way at some point. But attacking the queen just makes sense. Hmm. Pressure the queen. Ah, uh, he's eyeing my rook here. So I suppose I could block that, huh? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, I could really only block this one way, I think. Hmm. And I can support the knight here. Either move the rook or just develop the bishop. Uh, so he's got the... Uh, he basically has, has mate here. So I have to pressure his queen now. Unless I can find a way to protect uh, h7. Which I don't think I have a great way of doing right now. So... Yeah, this move kind of had to be done, f5. Yeah, that would have just been mate there. Yeah, that would have been a really sad story. Um, Looks like I can take the pawn and still protect h7, attack the queen at the same time. So I do like that move. I am going to... No, this is still good. The pawn's protected. Ah, lost a rook. Ah, I should have noticed that. Ah. I messed up. Yeah, I messed up. I messed up. Damn. Okay. How can we do some damage here? Man. Okay. So how can we protect? Takes the queen. Yikes. We just try to block his queen in or something. I don't know. This is my only idea. Just blocking his queen, and I know he's going to take this pawn. Or, no, he can't really take this pawn. Maybe I just go for this. Either just attack his queen this way. Hmm. I know he'll take... Continue to block him in. He wants to take. I always have the queen. Would be sick if I could get like a some kind of check, like with the bishop, and then snag this queen. But yeah, I don't see that happening. So maybe I just protect this pawn.
think that is just a free pawn, unfortunately. I didn't really calculate that all the way through. My brain's really working overtime on on these moves. I'm pretty determined to win win win. Win these queen. Pretty determined to win this queen back. Uh, I have like a handful of sort of loose pieces here, but he wants the offer the trade. If he's offering the trade, he's obviously So what if So what if take Can always just go back. Take and I don't really have I mean I have a check afterwards, but it's kind of pointless. I mean the queen is protected here. The bishop is protected. And maybe I just go for the knight. So he takes. I at least have my queen. Pawn's protected, this pawn's protected. Takes, I take, and then I pressure his knight. I'm just going to go for it. I know it looks weird, but... It's fine. And I do have a check. Let me think. Check, moves rook. Takes queen. Hmm. I just wish I could get something else out of this. I mean, I'm going to lose a knight if I go there, but I'm going to lose a knight either way, so. I just don't know if there's something more valuable I can do. I don't think there is. And I'm really tempted to take, but I don't know. I just feel like the bishops are going to be more valuable this game. Trying to find some kind of comeback. Yeah, I don't quite want to give the bishops up. I'm down a piece. I'm going to have to figure out some way to get out of this.
I like the bishop here on d7 in case he jumps his knight. I have both the squares protected. I don't have this square protected, but um, I can at least try to win b4. Yeah, tough game. I really lost it with that uh, that rook move when he took. That was a bit of a disappointment. And I have a fork here next. Always trade off, but I don't really want to do that. And this is okay. I'm going to try to win a rook back somehow. And this is protected, so. It's actually protected twice. Hmm. I'll go for the fork here. I'll probably just defend. Yeah, I figured. Oh, I see. I'm pinned here. Just break the pin. I need to let my bishop out at some point. I mean, if I could get my bishop onto this square, that'd be pretty sick. He's got two attackers here. I've got two defenders. Um, let's see. Fine. E2 would be a really nice square for the light square bishop, but it's going to be impossible because sort of no matter which way I want to navigate uh, to that square. Uh, one of his rooks is going to get attacked. So he's going to move his rooks no matter what. Ah, he found the fork. Uh, suppose that's okay. Yeah, a bit of a bummer, but he's looking for the trade here. Hmm. I mean, I can snipe off a pawn if we trade this way. Uh, he can always just pin my rook, though, if I go that way. Yeah, it's going to be... I mean, I have, like, one chance to go for, like, a back rank mate. Maybe that's just what I go for. Or no, if he. Yeah, this is gonna be really tough. Let me think. Boom. This is gonna be mate. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this is just lost. 
because of this bishop here. Boom, boom, takes. And then, I mean, I'm going to have to block in with the pawn. Maybe I move back. Oh no, I can't even go that way. Bishop's just defending. F5. I was thinking of how I can try to defend F8. But it's no possible. Yeah, I really need the rook. Unfortunately, I kind of have to go for it. Um, best I can hope for is to protect e2 or, or uh, e8. Yeah, GG. Feels feels pretty bad. <laughs> uh, I mean, he can just get the queen and win. Feels bad. Feels very bad. Boom. Boom, 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 mate. <laughs> GG Moscow Nick. The game basically fell apart after he got the rook and he got his queen infiltrated into my side. That was a bit of a bummer. Yeah, I just could not reclaim any advantage after that move. I shouldn't have taken with the knight there. I, I should have just taken with the pawn or something. Um, I think I should have just left the left the knight sort of defending with the pawn. But even then, he can no, he couldn't take the pawn. But so let's just see how this would have played out. Oh wow! So he just has a huge advantage here. So maybe taking with the bishop was the best. What's the engine say? Yeah, bishop takes on f7. Still has a really big advantage. Well, let me go back and uh, do the review and see how we could have played this uh, a little bit differently. Um, Maybe I should have just avoided getting into that position in the first place. Okay, so I threatened his bishop. That's good. Push the pawn. Getting the pawn out first, c5. 
I mean, I played a developing move. Yeah, this pawn was really stuck for a while, and um, the queen had a sort of a hard time here. Hmm. Looks like the engine did want to threaten the bishop with the knight on the rim on a5 there. I usually try to avoid knight moves on the rim. Uh, main reason I didn't do that. Attacking the queen. Okay, so what could I have played here? Because uh, obviously I was losing this rook. I mean, maybe I should have just pushed the pawn? Something like that, and then c6 is defended by the knight? Rook b8. Or maybe just moving the rook over? Just getting the rook to safety. Maybe that should have been the play. Rook d1. Got it. So yeah, so really the game just fell apart with, with one bad move. Um, I don't know. I was trying to be clever here with, you know, some ideas. Attacking the pawn this way, and then the queen was going to protect the pawn. But um, looks like I made just one bad move after he pushed his... Oh, on passant. I didn't even recognize that in the game. Why is that so difficult for me to figure out? <laughs> Why is that so difficult? <laughs> I really need to get better about that. Yeah, so the game, the advantage kind of swung after failing to recognize. On passant. Man, it feels really bad. What about the trade here? So taking was the knight okay, it was okay. Yeah, I was contemplating between this move. Maybe I should have done that. And then what would he do? Boom, boom. Oh. Yeah, I should have played that. Oh. Man, I talked about that quite a bit. Uh, yeah, I didn't calculate that one all the way through. I could have saved the knight here. And then I would have just been down one piece. Oh, that feels really bad. That's that's a really big miscalculation. And this knight was free. Yeah, real, real lame uh, calculation there. Rook f6, bishop e4. Hmm. Bishop e7. Okay, cool. So, there's two big mistakes this game. One, just not moving the rook over. Actually, three big mistakes. One, not moving the rook over. Two, not recognizing en passant. And then three, not following through with that calculation about the check, taking the queen, and then saving the knight. So that was a sort of missed order of operations there. Whoa, how did that just happen? Cool. Alrighty, well, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next game.